What do you think the Pac-12 is going to look like? Well, I think ultimately Oregon State and Washington State, they they want to rebuild this thing. You know, the, the president at Washington State was in the courtroom. Two athletic directors were in the courtroom. They want to get busy rebuilding it. And the 10 departing schools are really stalling this out. They know the transfer portal window is December 4th. They know that's kind of a drop dead moment. And so I think they're really trying to squeeze those two schools because they the departing schools want all the money. They want to take their share of the money. They want to dissolve the conference. Um, you know, there's $420 million in revenue coming in this year, this fiscal year. There's about another 170 coming in in future years. So there's a lot of money at stake here. Oregon State and Washington State want to use that money to rebuild. The departing schools want to take their share and, and be done with it. And so that's really what this is about. Okay, you, you need a new commissioner for the Pac-12 or whatever it's going to be called, and you need a TV deal. So yeah. the likelihood of all of that happening here before next season, I guess the commissioner would be the easy part. What about the TV deal? How attractive would that be? Yeah, I think they have to buy some time. You know, And I talked, there's two paths really for Oregon State and Washington State. I don't think they try to do this in you know 2024. I think okay. what they try to do is next season, they're going to play as a conference of two. That's that's I keep hearing that over and over. And the two paths that are available to them are a they put together a 12 game schedule. They try to uh, live off the media rights money and the what they win in this court case for the next couple of years. And then they really focus on 2025. The uh, alternate path, if they're not able to put together a schedule, and I'm told that they already have modeled that they have, you know, they they can successfully put together a 12 game schedule. But the more favorable one might just be to create a scheduling partnership or an alliance with the Mountain West Conference, place some of those schools in 2025. There's still a whole bunch of other schools out there like Utah, Cal and Stanford who are looking for games. I think you could pick up some power five games, but I don't know. You're right about the TV money. I don't know what that deal could look like in 2024, but that's why the money that's wrapped up in the conference and in this court proceeding is so important because Oregon State and Washington State are going to have to live off of that for about 18 to 24 months. But then legally, if you restructure the Pac-12, but it's called the Pac-12, can you still get the automatic berth, the winner of the Pac-12, you know, playing for a national championship? Yeah, that's a really important question. And I think there's a debate to be had there and there may be in a negotiation. You know, Kirk Schultz, the president at Washington State, is on that council. He holds a vote in that in that decision on that president's council. So I think he could leverage that. I think really, though, too, the other thing I've heard is, you know, if you do cobble together the Pac-12 and you bring it back and you keep the brand, and I think they will do that. You could argue that if they add the right schools, Dan, that it becomes the best group of five. And that conference champion in most years probably gets a berth anyway, even though it's not automatic. Okay. So, you know, this is about, you know, I keep hearing this over and over from Washington State and Oregon State. It's about survival in the next two years. And then what happens to college football and can their brands and their success on the football field help them uh, be part of whatever comes next?